So my name is William Carroll. I was born in 1788 up near Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I died here in Nashville in 1844. That's a year before my good friend Andrew Jackson died here also. And a year before they started the state capitol building in the downtown. I was a businessman, I was a military leader, and I was also a politician. Two out of three isn't bad. <laughs> As a business leader, one of the things that I saw as an opportunity was in 1816, I thought we needed to improve transportation here. So I bought the first steamboat that was navigating the Cumberland River. And I named it for my good friend, it was the General Jackson. In the War of 1812, there was a lot of uh, activity. The British were instigating Indian raids all over the western frontier. And down in Alabama, the Red Stick Creeks had gone to war and were massacring uh, new settlements in Alabama. Tennessee declared war on the Creeks, and I was one of the generals that led forces down into uh, Alabama to fight the, the Red Stick Creeks. And at the Battle of Horseshoe Bend, I was severely wounded, but uh, recuperated. And uh, shortly thereafter, I was uh, commanding all of the Tennessee troops before the Battle of New Orleans, and Andrew Jackson, my good friend, was the overall commander of all American forces at the Battle of New Orleans. We did defeat them. We were the two commanders of that battle. And as a result, uh, I was very popular back home here in Tennessee. So in 1821, the people of Tennessee elected me as their governor. We were operating under our first constitution, the 1796 Constitution. And that constitution allowed you to be governor for two years. But if the people liked you, you could have six successive years in office if they re-elected you every two years. And they did. Following that, leaving office in 1835, my friend is still in the White House as president, and Andrew Jackson is talking about doing what to all of the Indians in the Southeast? Removing them. So I was named to the Treaty Commission of New Echota, and we signed a treaty and removed all of the Cherokee from the Southeast, except for the few that hit out in the Smokies. They're still up there today. They then appointed me to a creek commission, and I worked uh, in the same efforts on the creeks. Uh, I did die in 1844, and I am buried here. The state of Tennessee bought this big plot of land and put up this monument. It's the biggest monument in city cemetery. And they are telling you in stone what I did in life. The columns up here are cannon tubes. They're war cannons, and there are flaming cannonballs down here on the corners, the base of the monument. On the front, there is a medieval war helmet, and there is a Roman laurel wreath with a Roman war sword. Now, the laurel wreath is upside down, though, because fame and glory are fleeting and brief, and they all go away. Entirely, I still have the biggest monument in City Cemetery. <laughs>